looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Get money out of politics. And crony capitalism. Stand up, fight back. Democracy is under attack. Stand up, fight back. Democracy is under attack. Stand up, fight back. Walkers are arriving. We have walkers from Dixville in the house. Where's Dixville at? Walkers from Portsmouth in the Plaza. And I want you to know that as we speak, faith leaders and others in this nation are circulating a document called the Unity Statement of Principles, Solutions to the Undue Influence of Money in Politics. And in the words of one of my United Church of Christ colleagues, there is a moral imperative that we reclaim the political process for all people and that we do it now. And let me repeat, there is a moral imperative that we reclaim the political process for all people and that we do it now. And because I'm the pastor, I have to end with saying, Amen. Amen. A former candidate for governor as a Republican, a staunch advocate for freedom, and someone who is deeply committed to this cause, please welcome Andrew Hemingway. On July 4th, 1776, our founding fathers planted a seed, a seed of independence, a seed of liberty, a seed of justice for all. But then something started to happen, folks, which happens with plants occasionally. One of the roots at the very base of this beautiful plant became corrupted. And instead of feeding it with the blood of patriots, and instead of feeding it in the greenhouse of liberty and justice for all, we started feeding it with money. It is incumbent upon all of us, not just for us, but for the generations to come, to stand, to rise, to be counted, to say no matter the cost, we will root out this corruption. A businessman from Burlington in far western New Hampshire, <laughs> aka Vermont, we're glad to welcome the co-founder of Ben & Jerry's, a man who is stamping big money out of politics as his full-time job since giving up the ice cream business. Please welcome Ben Cohen. And I know that making a political donation what John McCain has called legalized bribery in exchange for sweetheart deals, corporate welfare, and tax breaks is the most profitable investment a corporation can make and they're going to keep on making it until we stamp money out of politics. Yeah. Well, so I run the stampede. Uh, where is that? There we go. Yes. And, uh, you know, if the Supreme Court is going to say that money is speech, well, by God, we're going to make our money talk. Literally, by rubber stamping it with messages that say not to be used for bribing politicians and stamp money out of politics. Notice there's not a lot of Republicans here, and that's a fatal mistake, and it's got to change here. For three decades now, Washington politicians in both parties, in every election, promise us fiscal responsibility. That's a core precept of Republicanism. And instead, they've loaded our kids and grandkids, and my own 17-year-old son, with a millstone of debt, and they're doing this because they're paid to do it by this corrupt campaign system. And they've robbed prosperity from our future, and they're preventing our country from defending itself. Tax, bake, tax breaks for big money campaign contributors paid for by higher rates on the rest of us, all of us. Congress for, continues to forbid Medicare from negotiating lower drug prices. Oh. Which is why America 
Americans are paying the highest prices for pharmaceutical drugs in the world. And could it be that the drug industry, which spent $435 million in the last two years on campaign financing for corrupt politicians and the corrupt system and lobbyists, could it be that they're getting their way with their 1,400 lobbyists? We're all bird doggers. When these candidates come here, do not let them do any event without asking them, what are they going to do to stop the system of corruption? Yeah. Yeah. Please welcome. So in the Dixville Notch, there was a guy named St Crazy Steve. This was his hat. And at the end of his time on our walk, he handed me the hat and he said, this is for you. That's why they can call me Crazy Larry now. And I can tell you that when I had this idea of a walk from Dixville Notch to Nashua last year, there were many people who said, that's crazy, Larry. It's crazy. But I want you to look around this area and look at crazy, because this is what crazy runs. This movie. What will you do to end the system of corruption in Washington? I promise, Crazy Larry promises. I guarantee that if New Hampshire asks that question and a candidate for the presidency answers it in a way that you reward it, there's a chance America will follow you. They will follow you to make this an issue that we can get back to democracy so that in 2016 we will say democracy was won again. And when we walk in 2016, we will be walking not just with hundreds, but with thousands who have recognized that the New Hampshire rebellion has the chance to give back to America the democracy that the big money has stolen. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. Yes.